You right? Yeah. It's back. What, what, what is? Diss tracks. Oh, diss tracks are back. It's back. Can I say one thing? It's been a dream for me for a while, a goal of mine to actually be on Genius. This Genius? Well, well, well the Genius, but I guess you got to settle for the second verse, right? Uh, one thing though, can you guys get me some tape so I can tape over this merch? No, sorry, you're talking too much, man. Anyway, and before we get into this whole explain the song, I need you to swear on the stew. Oh, yeah. It's a very important thing that Rice Gum taught us all about. To swear on the stew, and it means you're telling the truth, all right? <gasps> I, I swear on the stew. Make sure you look in the camera, I want to hear it properly. I swear on the stew. Yeah, good, no laughing. I feel like I'm swearing on the stew, though, like, as in, like, the broth. <laughs> like, that, that's because you're northern. The beef stew. You're right. I'm living at the Sidemen house. I took your room, bitch. They kicked you out. Because you ain't paying rent, you couldn't find the cash. They're just like, oh, you're at the Sidemen house more than you're with your wife. So that's where I'm like, this, this part, I'm like saying, yeah, I'm at the Sidemen house. I'm in your room that you stayed in when you were here because they kicked you out. For those who don't know, the reason he left the house is ultimately because he refused to pay any rent. JJ was like, all right, you've been here for like a few months, like, are you going to pay? The deal wasn't tonight. All they had to pay was like 250, 250 pound a month to live in like a what, six bedroom mansion <laughs> with a chef and all this. And he's like, I'm your brother. I'm family. What? It's actually seven bedrooms. Seven, seven bedrooms. I apologize. Yeah, that's that's very, very important information. Uh, you said you couldn't find, you couldn't find the cash. Is that you saying like he couldn't find the money? Is he hasn't got, hasn't got the money? Now, obviously he has the money. He couldn't find it. Like, you couldn't find the heart to, to pay for it. Yeah, couldn't find it in him to pay for the thing. Obviously, that's, that's the issue more of it. It's the fact that he has money. Like, okay. If he didn't have money, he'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because he has, I mean, he can't find it. Ooh, all right, daddy. Let me clear the air and take out the trash. It's over. You've lost your pedigree. Open brackets. Woof. Close yeah. brackets. Now, before you get into that, do you want to move in to the house properly? Because uh, you said you take out the trash. And I would need someone to do that because yeah. uh, it's only me who ever does that. I haven't done that once yet, but I do. Yeah, is it? I you, do you, you need to start paying rent, actually. If you're yeah, here more yeah. than you see your wife, about the time you start paying your rent. I, I mean, I actually offered bare, bare times, but you guys like that. I, I, I don't remember sure. this. Like, that, that, that line in the track is like a more of a low-key one. People won't get it because, like, their room was a tip. He was training for the fight and he was telling people, yeah, I'm eating the chef's food, I'm eating Sarah's food, blah, blah, blah. And then you go into his room, like... <laughs> put the curtains up and there's just like Red Bull behind it, like wings, burgers, like, and he'd be like, oh, you know, no, that, that's my girl. That's my girl who came around last night. She had that food. I'm like, all right, what? She ate like, she ate like 15 wings. Little two large kebabs. <laughs> two large kebabs, yeah. <laughs> that's a hungry girl, that, she, that is a hungry girl. Yeah, and then I guess the more important lyric here. Oh, uh, yeah. It said you've lost your pedigree. Woof. All right, so this is the one line on the whole track that I actually feel really bad about, but I have to go in on it. So I did it, but. I wrote this line, right? Not Pedigree obviously is like a dog. It's like a, a well-bred dog. But I was like, when I wrote that line, I just meant, Deji, you've lost your pedigree. Like, you've lost your, like, respect, manhood. You're not, you're not, you ain't, you ain't a man because you act like a man-child. Yeah, that's what it is. But then I was like, if I add the wolf, it's also like, because his dog is, like, going through some trouble right now. But I do feel really bad for that. I don't think it's right to diss dogs. All you dogs out there, love you. And Tank seems like a cool guy, and I, and I hope they get him. Hashtag free Tank. I'm more of a man than you'll ever be. I'm digging your grave. This is your cemetery. This shit elementary. That's like an intro, and I'm like getting people ready for the track. And I'm like, this is your cemetery, I'm gonna dig a, dig a grave for you. And then this is elementary, because it's so easy. This is so easy to write. You can't take a joke. You need to relax, G. Back in LA, I was paying for your taxis. You're the poorest rich man that I know. Every time your car comes out, declined, bro. Yeah. So when we went to LA for the press conference for JJ and Deji for the uh, Logan and Jake fight, like, and I, I always book Ubers because people just don't think to do it. So I'm always like, I'll, I'll do it because no one's going to actually do it. Um, but then we were getting SUVs. So like a journey that was like five minutes, that in like an Uber X would be like $5. And then these SUVs were costing like $50 for a five minute drive. So I was booking loads of these. And then, because Deji wouldn't do it. Like he's like, I refusing, refusing to do it. Cause he's cheap, man. That's why it's like the poorest rich man you'll, you're the poorest rich man that I know because like, obviously he's doing really well, fair play to him, but like, he doesn't offer to do anything. It's like, I'm happy to get cabs, but like, 
we all have to get cabs, but why aren't you getting cabs? I was, get, I was getting his taxes for him. The car declined. Every, same with the meals. We'd have a meal with everyone, as in like Vidal, the trainer, Leon, Dida, uh, and they were all putting their cards in, putting cash in the middle to split the bill for the meal. But Deji wasn't. And he was like, my car's getting declined. My car's going to get declined. Until we took it, we actually were like, no, nah, no, nah, throw it in, see what happens. Because in America, when you swipe the card, it's different to when you put the pin in. So his, his card was working but you didn't want to put it in the middle. <laughs> so I was just naughty deji, man. Exposed. How you gone speak on my living arrangements? <laughs> when you're young, rich and you're famous, now deji tell me are you brain dead? Because you still live with your parents. Yeah, so in his video replying to me, he made a, his main point was that I spend more time at the Salmon house than I do with my wife and I'm your guys' bitch because I'm always here, I'm always around you guys and Jenny's bitch as well. I just think it's funny how you're speaking on my living arrangements, but you're young, rich and famous, a lot of things that people would desire to be. And you'd think that if, you, if you're living with your parents and you're like 21, 22, then most likely it's because you're like saving for a house or your university or you're still in their support. If I was 21 and where Deji was, I'd be dying like to get out there. But he's still living with his parents, so you can't chat shit to me. So. But what if he's a very smart individual and he just, he just looks after his pennies? Like, all you're saying here is he's a guy who knows how to save money. Yeah. Because look, he's, not, he's not paying for these silly Ubers, he's not paying for your meals, he's not paying to have rent anywhere, he's not doing what we've done. Yeah, he's frugal. He's not buying houses. Well, he's buying houses, actually. He's, buy, look, yeah, he, he's no, buying no. houses and he's not spending money. So he's all you're describing frugal. to me is an entrepreneurial young man. Very frugal, yeah. He's, he's more like a, more like a you know, I'll, I'll look after myself type of mentality, which is good for him. Like, it'll mean that he'll you know, spend less on paying, paying people, etc. But... Mm, yeah, and also, by the way, just to clarify, I know that he doesn't live with his parents still. Like he owns the house that he lives in. It's more like his parents live with him, but he needs <laughs> he, he needs them parents, man. Because if they're not there, he, as we saw here, he doesn't know how to do the dishwasher. He can't wash pots. He doesn't know how to pay rent. He doesn't know about electricity. He doesn't like he doesn't know about internet use. He doesn't know anything. Literally, he can't like he cannot live on his own. If he lives on his own, <laughs> it'd be in. he wouldn't make it past a week. I got loyalty deep in my veins. You got no brains, you got no friends, you got no game, losing your fame, losing your name, this is your end. Yeah, it's like a quick fire one with the flow, and because he's got no brains. That's because we're in great to explain it, yeah, that's what you said. So when you say you got no game, yeah. you're saying it's like, not like EA, so basically he's not good at, you're not good at chatting up girls, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got no game, like, he's got no game with the girls. That's that part, then you're losing your, losing your fame. When I made the joke about his channel being dead, I didn't actually know it was like dying, but then after I was like, oh, what, what is he saying? And then his like, subscribers are like down right now, which is, I mean, yeah. It's hard times out there. Hard, yeah, yeah, hard times. I'm, I'm losing my fame on Instagram right now. So you follow me on Instagram, it'd be great. And also losing his name, because that's why like, he was like, I'm losing fame because I'm losing my name. So I'm like, you're losing your fame, losing your, like, it's bad, bad for you right now, and I'm the nail in the coffin. So this is, this is your end. I like the name change, though. Comedy Shorts Game is Dead, he was a Oh, good... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why he's wrong when he says that. It's not because. He's changed his name because everyone always knows him as Deji. His name change was the easiest one because on the fight, it didn't say Jake Paul versus Comedy Shorts Gamer. That's his biggest claim to fame recently, so it's, it's Deji. People know him as Deji. It is true. That ain't the reason. I imagine the reason is because you're posting bad videos. <laughs> like the one that you called me out in. You posted a video recently of you just dressing as, up as KSI. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I was funny in that. You've made a song with your feet. <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> that one, I'll give it, I'll give it you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did do that. I like Deji's content, to be honest. You know? Like when he, I think he just posts too much of it. If I was him, I'd like maybe do two, like space it out like every two days and post another two or three days and just make like better content. He did a normal way, like eating wings really fast or something. I like that one. But when this, this, this the video that he dissed me in was literally called the good news and the bad news brackets very important. And it was just like an update on Tank, which could have been like an Instagram video and then just dissing me and then saying, guys, uh, I'm losing subs because I changed my name. Like. That ain't YouTube, that's that Instagram content. Put that on Instagram, man. Yeah, but not everyone who follows you on YouTube follows you on Instagram. That's true. Like, I have three million followers here. Mm. And like I said, I'm losing followers on Instagram. <laughs> so follow me on Instagram. <laughs> You're just a poor man, I can't lie. You're just a Walmart KSI. You went to war with the wrong guy. There is nowhere you can hide. Yeah. You've put no one where as two words here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I might have misspelled it. Well, I guess I did, so I'm sorry. So maybe you've got no brains as well. <laughs> maybe I've got no brains, yeah. Wait, what was the lyrics again repeating to me? It's your song. 
So you're just a poor man. Like this is an interesting lyrics. People are like, you're not a poor man. But what I'm saying is like, Deji, you can, you can have your riches, you can have your fame, but as a man, as like, as like being successful and just being a good person, being a man, like you're, you're a poor man. Like you're, you're a rich man, you got money, but you are like poor than yourself. Like I'm it's happy, a poor man. soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Like I, I got my wife. Uh, I'm enjoying. Oh, when you have your wife, you might not have her that long my, because my you house. spend more time here. Yes, I, don't, I like the wife. That I don't see much. Uh, putting in work in for my future family, so I think things are going well. So I'm saying you're a poor man. Like I would not aspire to be you. The next line, you're just a Walmart KSI. Obviously, KSI's little brother uh, made himself a name for himself with the way he is. But you know, I, I, as a lot of people watch me as well, rose to not fame but like got views because of JJ uh, but he's just a, he's just like the BTEC version of JJ <laughs> it's like Walmart and then obviously Walmart because like Jake Paul's like Walmart so I was like put that put that in there you went to war with the wrong guy like yeah I'm the wrong guy to go with war with to war with because in a rap battle in a rap battle yeah yeah if I went to war like in the old days like charging with a sword yeah don't choose me because uh, <laughs> I'm getting an arrow through the head for sure who do you think would win out of you and Deji in the arrow war as in bow and arrow? Yeah, or, or like playing sword fight with the arrow. <laughs> I mean... I think I'd beat him in a bow and arrow fight. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd beat him in that. I think hand-eye coordination, I think he'd be like, all over the place. That's the hand-eye coordination, that's just looking in the wrong direction. If you're there, why is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It is a weird question, Josh. Nothing you've achieved is credible. Too busy taking edibles. Backstage just hours before, that is something that I cannot ignore. Mm. Well... Yes, this Taking is like, edibles. Yes, this is the meat of the track right now. Uh, just want to put this into what's, what's, what's an edible? I, THC. I, I, I eat food downstairs. Is that edibles? Yeah, but I'm saying the, the weed. Like when you when you like get the, some certain part of weed and put it in like a gummy bear or like a sweet, it's edible. It gets you high and that without without smoking. But just to be clear, right? There's nothing wrong with having edibles. Uh, but the fact that you're doing it before the fight. Like, clear, let me clear this up as well. People are gonna listen to this and think that I meant like right before the fight. Obviously you can't do that, drug tests and all that. My point here is that the reason he lost the fight is because, yeah, he ain't... We didn't get to that part yet. You, right, just, okay. you, what, what, you hold saying? your horses. All right, before the stage then, back, backstage, just hours before. That, what I'm saying there is like the press conference. We went to LA for the press conference. Like JJ is no bad food, no alcohol, water and good food. And Deji's out here having edibles, Passing out, not coming out, there's not coming for meals in his room, just passed out. He's going to restaurants and having Shirley Temples, which is not an, not an I mean, alcoholic. I like a man who likes Shirley Temples, man. So Shirley yeah. Temples is a nice drink. Right before, right before a press conference, though, when you're meant to be training, didn't want to didn't want to train. Spreading lemonade. But yeah, you shouldn't be drinking that before fights, football before while you're training. Yeah, so I'm saying like, yeah. So can, next part. You're not telling, you're telling me what to do now. I'm like, I I, f I feel like you stood in this, this this chunk in one. No real reason you lost the fights. We're way too busy getting high. No grit, no heart, no fight, no faith, all bark, no bite. Yeah. So this, this whole this whole chunk here, like I was saying before, is that he was his determination wasn't there. Like we kept drilling it into him, like it's the, one of the biggest opportunities you'll have in a while. You can win this fight if you train. Everyone at the house, including me, was helping him. As he said, like we're family, so I was like, as a as a little brother, I'm gonna just try and give you some advice because I don't know, I, I want you to do well, I want you to win. Yeah, he's meant to be preparing for the LA press conference, a big, big part of the fight promo and all that. And he, he ain't preparing, he ain't training, and he ain't doing anything to help him win the fight. So I'm like, the real reason you lost a fight, you got no determination. You're doing things like taking edibles in, uh, in LA when you're supposed to be tra when you're supposed to be on point with everything. So all that added together is the reason he lost a fight. Vic star fucking bitches that turned you down. I saw the girls that you brought to the house. 10 minutes with you and they bounce. Soon they figure out what you're about. I think they say soon as. Soon as they figure out what you're about, yeah. Did I spell that wrong as well? Soon they figure out. Oh, that's, that's soon, yeah. Let's just say Vic and Deji have, you know, had interactions with a, the same girl uh, and she wasn't having any of it from Deji. Deji was like, yo, I got a Lambo. Let me take you out. Yo, uh, I, I got a mansion. Uh, all this type of stuff. Like, yo, uh, <laughs> I'm big on YouTube. Yeah, do you want to do this? And she was like, nah, just stop texting me. And he just kept texting the bear and bear. And then th this is, you know, the same girl that Vic. <clears throat> so, so I think what it is, is the fact that like Vic is a bit more like intellectual. Than so Vic, Vic slid in and went like, hello, I know that all the planet names. And she was like, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, 
Let me show you this sick snap I got on Fortnite. She was like, whoa. Yeah, and, and Deji ain't hitting those snaps. He, he's not, to be honest. I see him play Fortnite. <laughs> Bad. Girls would just come to the house, like with Deji, and then like leave very quick, and I'm like... But maybe he's a sick fuck and likes a quick fuck. Maybe he is that. Maybe, I mean, I've got, maybe I've got it all wrong. I've got it all wrong. Yeah, here. like you're assuming. Yeah, I am. I you're am. assuming, making an ass out of you and me. Cam girl, chubby stoner. It's just you and your boner. Catfished, no atonement. Cam girl, chubby stoner. Are, we, are you calling Deji a cam girl? <laughs> No, I don't, I don't think he's a cam girl. Can't verify that information. One of the girls he brought around was a girl called Chubby Stoner that obviously not, not many people know about. So no one's going to know about that line until they see this video. Uh, but yeah, just a funny, that was just a funny, funny situation. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not trying to go at her here. I'm just saying, just, I know that when you hear Chubby Stoner, he'll be like... I mean, I heard he had a great time. Yeah, yeah, probably did. Yeah, she's a cam girl and all that, so she knows what she's doing. Then you said, it's just you and your boner. Now what does that even mean? So this is relating to the fact that like, he'll bring a girl back and then she'll probably soon realise that this is not what I signed up for. I thought you were Deji. Your, your, your Instagram is not what you are. Uh, and they're bouncing. But it's like, as he's like got his dick hard, so he's like, oh, they've, they've left him blue balls pretty much. But like I said, what if they're bouncing in a different way, he's a sick fuck, that's a quick fuck, they leave. Oh yeah. Maybe he's just efficient. He's yeah, like, you know what? Ten minutes in, out you get. I need to record. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, you know, as you said, he likes to earn money and save money. Maybe he's just a. So maybe you got him all wrong. And actually, he's a genius and he's an entrepreneur. Yeah, true. Maybe we should all be more like Deji. Remember that girl from Tinder? You wanted to go and link her. Turned out she was a guy. I warned you, man. No lie. Uh, we were in LA for the press conference. There was a bet going around with certain people that like, oh, I'm gonna find a girl first. I'm gonna sleep with the girl first. Deji put into the group chat saying, I win, guys. Posted a screenshot of her messaging him where it was just saying, you know, hi, how's it going? Uh, looking for a, you know, just looking for a friends with benefit, friends with benefits, like, what about you? And then he screenshotted that and was like, I've won guys, I'm the winner. And I just replied in the group chat saying, that's a dude. Like, I actually didn't know it was, I was just saying, because they're messaging you, it must, must be a dude. And then he just puts in the chat, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> and then sent the photo of this individual and like, it was very clear that, very, very, very clear that it was a guy. Uh, but obviously he still swiped, still clicked, still browsed, and he was like, guys, I've won. <laughs> he didn't win. <laughs> he definitely didn't win. Only get your dick sucked at strip clubs. You're rich but can't get bitches. Made a 10k bet of your bro that you'll fuck, and still came back with no luck. How, Sway? How, Sway? That's my adlib. Can you get your dick sucked at strip clubs? You can. I've been in a relationship for a long, long time, bro. I don't know what the hell that is. That's an option. I think you have, you have to go. You have to go back into like a private room, and then they'll they'll you, you pay. You seem very experienced in this department, considering you're married, married and man. you've been with someone longer than I have. Mm. Yeah. Um, someone taking their own grave here. Ooh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. True. It's getting hot in there. Huh? They're getting hot in there. Yeah, I'm sweating. Actually, cool here. I think there's a fan somewhere. Nice. I, I was joking. Oh. Just because you're getting nervous. <laughs> ah, okay. But now I've, I've been to a strip club, obviously, and uh, I know that's available for you if you want it. Uh, he's rich but can't get bitches. Like, somehow he makes it harder for himself. Like, he's, like I said, young, rich, and famous. Pretty much, <laughs> like, three factors that help in that, that department. Still doesn't have much luck. And then the next line, the 10K bet. So he made, a bet with, he, made, he made the bet with JJ. He was like, oh, JJ, I'll bet you 10K that I'll get a girl tonight. And JJ was like, all right. They pink, pinky swore on it. Uh, and then, again, this is all from LA. Went to the club, came back from the club. Certain people did bits, certain people achieved. Like, Deji, the next day, was like, I've done bits, guys. Everyone's like, oh, congratulations. And he was like, you owe me 10K, JJ. JJ was like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Fair play, yeah, yeah. And then we were at a meal. And we were just asking Deji, like, oh, people, people were like, hey, Deji, you got any, like, photos or you got any proof of this? We need to, we need to verify this for the, for the bet. And he was like, and I noticed he was starting to, like, I don't know, his story wasn't adding up. So then he was like, because then his personal trainer, Dida, was with him at 3 a.m. that night. And Dida was like, wait, if you did bits last night, when, like, when was it? Because I was in your room at like 3.30, which is questionable anyway. But he was like, I was in your room at 3. And Dida was like, yeah, it was after that. He was like, nah, it's, I met her at the club or met her at Tinder or something. But then I got an Uber for her after you left at 3 a.m. So then I was like, all right, show us your Uber then. Like, show us the receipt of your Uber. And then we're at the meal and his face just goes. And then we were like, wait, you're lying, aren't you? We actually believe we actually believe in this time. We don't believe in often, but we actually believe in that time. His face lit up and we're like, you're lying, aren't you? He's like, yeah. We were like, why are you lying? And you, you're gonna be impressed with this. He said, I didn't want to lose 10K. 
So See, look. Yeah, fabricating. Yeah, yeah. True, true. But I think I mean, been... To me, it's all adding up that he's a, he's just a smart, educated young man. Yeah, maybe. I'm, I did. Yeah, I apologise for this whole ordeal. My bad. I guess this all links into the previous bit. She said, and still you lied. I swear my mother. Tried to wingman you all night, but she just referred your brother. That story of your life, right? That's peak. Bet you sleep with a nightlight. Oh man, did I reach too deep? Getting bodied by me, KSI's bitch, I've been let off the leash. So yeah, I think this was while that bet was active in that night. He was with a girl for a lot of the night. Me and Simon were watching him. We were trying to help him. We were like, I right, will we'll, uh, help you out. Also, some of the boys took Deji to uh, some clothes stores to buy him some clothes because we all got dressed up. You know, I had my, had my suit on, uh, blah, 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 blah. And Deji, came, Deji was late, came down. In tank. No, it wasn't Tank. It was actually Con's merch. He was wearing Con's merch <laughs> on a night out. Yeah, I mean, no offence, mate. I rate it, but I don't even approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> he wore Con's merch for a night out. What colour? Blue one? The blue one, yeah. Jesus Con. Christ, that's ah. peak. I actually turned that down, just so you know. <laughs> wow. Wow. Are you, sh are you firing shots here? Are you dissing Con? It's, friend yeah. it's friendly banter, bro. You could, like, we're family. We, we, you know what I mean? This, this whole thing stemmed from this situation. Con can take a joke, right? It sounds, like, sounds like you can't take a joke now. <laughs> no, I was just... <laughs> yeah, especially like you got me. This was also with Vic. Vic was there. Elliot Moselk was there. And then this girl just kept like walking away from Deji a lot. And then someone was like, so yeah, so what do you think about Deji? Uh, trying to wingman. And she was like, I kind of prefer KSI, really. She was like, Deji's, just, Deji's a bit... I'll just leave it there, really. I mean, I think... So we need to know. Yeah, I don't want to tell you what he, she really said. Halfway through. Oh, only halfway through. Jeez. Ain't even spoken on your channel. That's 16 more rounds of automatic ammo. I ain't seen that much red since Jake handled your face. But it's all good. At least you got paid. Oh, wait. 20%. That's all you got. Could have been faulty, but you got dropped. I heard it was 25%. Yeah, I also heard that news. So I, I feel that you're a... Uh, Factually incorrect. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. So you come here and swear on the stew. No, 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 I'm swearing on the stew now, but I'm taking it back. I'm, no, 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 I'm not. Sorry, I'm not taking it back. I'm swearing on the stew. I'm taking the lyric back. I apologize. I thought it was 20% because, like, it makes more sense 20% or 40%. Why would it be 25% or 40%? But that's what it was. So I apologize, guys. Did you actually got 25% from the fight? Uh, it still could have got 40. But 25% of said money. Yep. It's quite a lot of money. Quite a lot more, yeah. Extorting your brother. Trying to get half. Didn't get your own way, so ran back to your par. Yeah, so those lines are obviously, as they say as well, like he really, really wanted 50%. He's like, I'm a co-main event. I am selling more tickets than you are for this fight, JJ. I made this whole fight happen. Me baiting out, me, me calling out Jake made Logan want to fight you. Uh, so I deserve my 50%. Jake didn't even get 50%. So and he was like, look, he's like, I want 50%. And then JJ was like, well, you know, pay rent, help around the house. All these things are the reasons why you ain't getting 50%. And then after he basically got told he'd get 40 if he wins, which is which was a compromise anyway, and 25 if he loses, I thought it was 20. Uh, yeah, he, that's, that's when he left. That, that is when he left the house and then went to Vic's boxing gym, home of zero world champions. Yikes. <laughs> that's a big yikes from me. Gave you a roof, gave you a chef, gave you a coach, gave you the checks, but you bit the hand that feeds you. Use a joke, use a mess. You said gave you the checks. Mm. What checks did, was he given? <laughs> Is it 2018? Yeah, we don't use checks anymore. But yeah, mainly I'm just saying JJ gave him the platform. JJ gave him a roof, gave him a chef, gave him a PT, gave him a physio, gave him a boxing coach. All the stuff that JJ had for the Joe fight, he gave it to Deji free of charge. And uh, even that wasn't enough for Deji to win the fight. He couldn't, even, he couldn't even eat the meals that he was given. He was throwing them away, going back to eat his kebabs. You know, he was missing out on sessions because it is too far for him to commute, even though JJ did it for every session with Joe. So, yeah, it just, he was given the platform to win. Not even to win, just to, he was given the platform to succeed and just couldn't, couldn't even deal with that. Too pussy to fight Weller. He's too scared to fight Gib. So instead, you're settling for that American kid. You're exposing some more dirt here now. Are you, are you sending some shots off of Blades now? Maybe. Rico ricochet. You're, you're firing a shot at Joe Weller here, and you're saying he's too scared to fight Gib. Is this, is this true? Do you know this? Yeah. Gib wants to fight Weller. Weller doesn't want to fight Gib. I mean, and I'm, I'm not blaming... I, I guess I'm firing a shot at Weller I, mean, I wouldn't here. fight Gib. Yeah, I wouldn't fight Gib either. I, I, I'm saying, like, it's, it's fair play not to want to fight Gib. He's an animal. But, uh, but, yeah, but then Weller really wants to fight Deji. Deji doesn't want any of that. 
at all. He doesn't want, he doesn't want that, which would be a sick fight because it's the loser of KSI fight and the loser of the Jake Paul fight. Like, who can win out of those two? You know, that's a big fight. It's a very good for Deji. It's a good step forward, but that's what everyone keeps telling him. Deji, that's, take that fight. It's a good fight. Doesn't want it. I want Alex Wasabi. Alex Wasabi? Yeah. Acting like he's Muhammad Ali, but still thinking that's an easy fight. Hardly. She was essentially saying here that he treats Alex as if he's like the best boxer in the world yeah. when we don't even know if he can even throw hands. Yeah. And, and Alex already said he doesn't be involved in the drama anyway, so... And then he are then saying, but then in your head you're actually thinking it's easy an easy fight. fight. When you're then saying, actually, it might not be. Yeah, the way he's chatting about Alex Wasabi, he's like, oh, no, he's, he's, he's sick. Like, he's, that's, that's going to be a real test for me. And then, but he's he, obviously he's saying that because he knows he can beat, he thinks he can beat Alex and not beat Joe. So he's shaping the audience to he's believe. shaping the audience, yeah, but he's still, let's be honest, he still won't even beat Alex Wasabi. So. If there's even a boxing match ever again. Yeah, if there's even ever a boxing match. Let's just bring back diss tracks. Yeah, yeah, we're starting the whole cycle again. Can't compete on mic, you'll try and get me in the ring. But I'm a fat motherfucker, I ain't fighting anything. Yeah, so this so is like I, a self-depreciation line. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew for a fact that he would, like, as soon as he saw the diss track, he would not want to reply. Uh, so then, like... This could be awkward if he's already replied at this point. This could be awkward if he's already replied, yeah. So this lyric here relates to the tweet that he actually put out. And at that point, he didn't know what I said on this track. So he's, his tweet was, pop it up here if you want to. Is that something you do on this series? Diss tracks are so 2017 even though he released one on Jake Paul in 2018. But anyway, let's settle this like men uh, and fight in the ring. So I knew, that's, that, I knew that would be his take on this. He's like, oh no, I can't beat you in a rap battle, uh, so I'm not gonna diss you. Let's settle this like men in the ring, even though he still hasn't wanna, he hasn't wanna fight either. What if you just give me odds fighting Deji in the ring? All right, go on, let's do it. Give me a number. 30. Three, two, one, 16. 19. Looking at Ethan, how Ethan like transformed himself when he had a fight on the thing, that's kind of what I'm like, I, I could put it in a shift. Said you're losing subs because you changed your name. Nah, it's because you ain't never changed your lane. Doing the same old shit after August 25th. Same old Deji, man child, little bitch. He says that he's losing subscribers because he's changed his name. We've already addressed that on this video. The fact that, you know, people know him as Deji, they always have known him. Comedy Shots Game is just a URL pretty much. So that's that. It's not because he's changed his name, it's because he's never changed his lane. He's never switched it up. He's done the same old thing all the time. One would think that after. If he won the fight in August 25th, he could go on to a whole new thing here. He'd be, he could make sicker videos and everyone would be like, God, that is sick. He didn't win the fight, but he performed very well. Like, I, was, I, was, I was tearing up at the fight, not gonna lie. When he was, when he was fighting Jake, I was like, man, I'm, I'm proud of Deji, even though all this stuff he's been through, I'm still proud of him. But if he put effort in, this shows it even more, if he put effort in, he would've won that fight. But anyway, he still did himself proud. So like, after, the, after August 25th, he still did well, still made a name for himself, so he should still, after that, switch his content up, go into another level, go into another gear. Uh, but he still hasn't done that. He's posting the same videos he, po he was posting before the fight. It's like the fight didn't even happen. Uh, so, you know, if he, it's the same old Deji, man. He's not doing anything else. So, same old Deji, man-child, title of the song, because that's what he is. Like, he's a man, but he's a child at the same time. See how that works, like, man-child. Like, I actually have brains. Ah, okay, yeah. And then the last line, little bitch. For those who don't know, Deji hates being called a little bitch. It's one of his, like, pet peeves, I guess. If you say, like, even if you're joking, all right, little bitch. What? I ain't a little bitch. So he gets really mad at that. So I thought I'd end it on, like, a stinger for him and be like, man, child, little bitch. How many subs you on YouTube? Uh, 200k, almost. I think one, like, 1995. How many subs that you got? Almost like almost 10 million, 9.7 million. Oh, so he's saying what? Stay in my lane. Well, maybe he needs to stay in the lane he's in. He's doing, seems to be doing all right. He's not got a dead channel. He's still getting views, still getting paid, still doing very, very well. So you're now lying. His channel's not dead. When I made the joke, I never even thought his channel was dead. I was just saying it because he's JJ's brother. Then he, he escalated this, and then I looked, and then I saw, yeah, his channel is losing subs. I don't know why YouTube's a tough place right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've got obviously less subscribers than him, but I'm putting my own shift in. And that's where all this beef started from. That's where this beef started, yeah. Well, anyway, that's like a little throwback from uh, last year. The old Rap Genius is back. Is it back for good? Who knows? Need more diss tracks. You want to do some diss tracks? Bring them on. Not on me, though, because I need to do the... I need to do this part. Like, this is my job in this whole scenario. It's how I make my bread in this scenario. What about if you did one on you? So you just keep swapping? That'd be great, but I'm not going to diss myself out here. <laughs> OK. 
Yeah. But anyway, follow me on Instagram, innit, remember? Mm -hmm. I'm in the red. Let's make it so I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be a deji. I'm a Marcus, bit excitement, like it's a circus. Wanna see more exciting things? Check my YouTube channel or circus. If you hear something in my bar, you think I didn't even know that I said? Boy, better know when I'm on the mic and I speak, better know that I said it on purpose. That's right, I'm a Marcus, saying it again. Pass me a pen. Black truth's gonna make truth right, pass to my moustache, turns grey like gems. Yeah, haters gonna hate, you can't stop them, fam.